Hi, I'm Brett. Today I got another video update on the 4B11 Mitsubishi Evo or Rallyart engine repair. Because you remember this engine is common in the, both the Mitsubishi Lancer Rallyart and the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 10. And this particular engine is the one that we spoke about in our previous video that had a broken uh, piston, the jammed valve, um, damaged, the Conro uh, damaged the piston and so on. So what we're going to talk about here is where we've been and where we're heading to before we put it all together so you can see what it's like internally before we assemble the engine. So a quick recap is this is the original head. Um, effectively what happened is um, it broke a part of the crown of the piston which is unfortunately, I wouldn't say it's a common fault but it's been known to happen in these engines. It breaks the top off the piston. Piston um, component, that missing bit, jams in the valve. The valve stays open, the valve breaks and in the case of this one it jammed itself in the uh, piston and then just destroyed the rest of the engine. Now we were lucky because we were able to save the block um, and we've gone for a Nitto stroker kit with uh, high performance uh, con rods, heavy duty pistons, the heavy duty rods, uh, race bearings and a, a brand new crankshaft because the client chose to go for an upgrade. He could have gone for uh, just replacement heavy duty rods and pistons as it turned out, the crankshaft in the original engine was able to be saved, but he wanted a little bit more power. And you can see the design of the 4B11 engine in its naked state, in a little bit better condition. It doesn't look like it's been through the wars. Um, the balls are all nice and clean. And one thing that we talk about, um, and probably haven't touched on, is um, the fact that we don't just use drop-in pistons. We actually go to an oversized piston and then we bore the block to suit the piston to get a very, very good neat um, piston or bore clearance because if you do a drop in uh, piston if in case, in case or in fact the bore was able to be reused, um, the tolerances are not always the best and you do end up with a little bit of less performance and a little bit more oil consumption. So that's just one thing to keep um, in mind when you're doing an engine rebuild. But it's interesting to compare the uh, alloy, all alloy 4B11 engine, which is an alloy block, and just the way the um, piston liners are retained within the outer casing. You gotta remember in this area here when the engine is, is assembled is full of water. This is the water jacket. This is the outer casing, which is obviously the main part of the block. And you'll say it's then locates the inner liners. But um, Mitsubishi in the design, they have a little bit of a, a retainer, a, a slot in here between the cylinders. And then, but if you look down deep, there's a lot more support of the bores on these engines than say on a Subaru engine. And um, But they do still, under high load situations, do get distortion um, um, at top dead center. So it's something you need to keep a, be aware of, which ultimately can cause that failure with the piston as well. So the uh, head, um, we couldn't save. Um, so we managed to get a good quality um, com uh, second-hand head, which we've given a big birthday. We obviously found out that the, um, the valves in the original engine, well, they couldn't be reused anyway. And um, the engine is now, with the top half of the head, has all been given a big birthday, all new um, uh, line um, valve stem guides. Um, seats have all been redone. The cams at the moment haven't been dialed in, so you can see it's sitting upside down at the moment on the cam caps before we then um, pull the original uh, variable cam assemblies out and just see if they're all okay, okay to be reused. So when this all goes back together next, we'll show you the assembly connected as one complete um, engine and then the next stage as it goes back in the car. So make sure you stay tuned. Check out our other videos on this particular engine build. You'll find it very, very interesting on how we got to this stage and also keep in mind um, the advantages of, of what you can do to get more power and torque and reliability out of your Mitsubishi Lancer Rallyart and some of the other components such as the SST transmission as well. So make sure you check out our new website at mrttuned.com.au. If you're in Australia, remember we do do a lot of technical support and, re and um, uh, custom tuning support through our partners throughout Australia. So if you want the peace of mind of MRT reliability and uh, the performance, contact us and we can put you in touch with one of them or you can go to our website and find one of our partner partners around Australia as well. But for now, my name is Brett Middleton. I do hope this video has helped you. Uh, thanks for watching.